Once again, most welcome to Sweden, to Visby, to Gotland. It's great to see you all here. Um, great to see you, even though we are in difficult times in so many, in so many ways. Um, uh, as we all know, we have gathered today against the backdrop of the worst security situation for decades, and there is a raging war in our immediate neighborhood that we know too well. Russia's war of aggression is not only a violation of international law, but also a blatant attack on the rules-based international order which has served European peace and prosperity for so long. In times like these, you need to know who your friends and your allies really are. As a framework of like-minded nations in our part of the world who share a commitment to peace and democracy, the Joint Expeditionary Force, not that easy to pronounce, but the Joint Expeditionary Force provides a range of military options that can be used in times of crisis or in times of conflict. With its high readiness, the JEF can respond to scenarios ranging from below the threshold of conventional conflict to a full-spectrum military operation. For our common region, of the high north, North Atlantic, and the Baltic Sea, Russia poses the most significant and direct threat to security and stability. This threat involves both military and non-military means. We obviously face this security situation together, acting as a complement to NATO. And over the last 18 months, Jeff nations have undertaken more than eight times as many activities across maritime, land, and air domains compared to all the preceding eight years. That is impressive. That's a pretty clear demonstration also of our resolve to ensure regional stability and our commitment to enhanced deterrence and defense. Today, we also, through our pure presence, on this island draw attention to the military strategic significance of Gotland, in particular regarding uh, the defense of the Baltic Sea region. Sweden is currently making historic investments in military and civil defense. One good example is the Gotland Regiment we met this morning. By increasing the military presence on Gotland, we are raising the cost for any aggressor this will strengthen the whole of the Northern Europe and the Baltic Sea region. During today's meeting, we will of course continue to discuss Russia's ongoing aggression against Ukraine, but also the relation between Jeff and NATO activities, and how to improve our ability to detect and respond to increasing hybrid and cyber threats, not least that. The damages likely caused by external activity in the undersea infrastructure between Finland and Estonia show the importance of the security of critical infrastructure. All JEF partners stand ready to support the investigation with all possible means. During our meeting today, we will also endorse the JEF 10-year vision, which outlines our joint ambition to continue to develop through exercises and enhanced interoperability between our armed forces. To this end, joint response options have been developed, which will improve our ability to act faster and more proactively. Furthermore, through the Jeff vision, we reaffirm our commitment to Ukraine today. We will continue to provide military, political, and financial support for as long as it takes. I also expect us to have an agreement on, on inviting Ukraine to now become an observer of future Jeff exercises. Let me now give the floor to Prime Minister Sunak. Please, Rishi, the floor is yours.